This is the Colorado River, one of the largest rivers in the United States. Starting off in the Rocky Mountains of Colorado, the river flows for more than 1,400 miles, through the Colorado Plateau and into Lake Mead. While the river has historically provided water to tens of millions of people, today the Colorado River is reaching record low water levels, threatening the water supply at both Lake Mead and Lake Powell. But the real reason behind this decline is much more complex than many would first believe, and is the result of a number of large-scale infrastructure projects. The primary use of the water in the Colorado River is for the agriculture industry in the southwestern part of America. Roughly 70% of the river's water goes towards this industry. Additionally, seven different states also rely on the river for a portion of their water supply systems, these states being Colorado, New Mexico, Utah, Wyoming, Arizona, California, and Nevada. In all, the river supports more than 40 million people throughout this entire region. The Colorado River is divided into two separate basins, with the upper basin including states such as Colorado, Utah, New Mexico, and Wyoming, while the lower basin includes Arizona, California, and Nevada. Ultimately, the states were divided into two separate basins to allocate rights to use the water from the Colorado River. Each basin is allocated 7.5 million acre-feet of water per year from the Colorado River. From there, the water is distributed to the individual states, based on their populations and other key factors. These statistics show just how many acre-feet of water each of the basin states receive per year. As we can see, states such as California are receiving more than 4 million acre-feet of water per year, in correspondence with its large population. Additionally, Mexico is receiving 1.5 million acre-feet of water per year as part of the Colorado River Compact Agreement. In addition to all these states using the water, we also have to account for the long-term droughts in the southwest over the past few years. This has resulted in the river not replenishing as much as it normally does at different times throughout the year. This has then caused the water levels to drop at both Lake Mead and Lake Powell over the past two decades. We also have to keep in mind that there are a total of 15 dams along the Colorado River, more than any other river across the United States, two of the most notable being the Hoover Dam and the Glen Canyon Dam. All 15 of these dams have created a number of reservoirs all throughout the river, which supply water to cities and towns nearby. Most of these reservoirs are currently in an extremely dire condition, as a result of the ongoing drought. Lake Mead stands at just 28% of its total capacity, and Lake Powell stands at just 25%. These extreme figures once again relate back to the state of the Colorado River and its decline. While all of this is playing a role in the decreasing water levels in the river, one of the key causes is the large-scale water transport projects that have been built throughout this region. The Central Arizona Project is a system of canals that bring water from the Colorado River to central and southern Arizona. The project includes a series of dams and reservoirs that store water for irrigation and other uses. The project was authorized by the U.S. Congress in 1968 and was completed in 1993. The canal starts off south of Lake Mead and the Hoover Dam, where water is then piped underground and diverted from the river, into a series of canals that run through the desert to central and southern parts of Arizona. In all, the project supports more than 4 million people in central and southern Arizona, and receives nearly 1.5 million acre-feet of water per year from the Colorado River. While the system was designed to prevent water shortages throughout this region, the first water cuts of this project were announced earlier this year. The U.S. Borough of Reclamation announced that as a result of the Colorado River's current condition, the Central Arizona Project will see its first water cuts sometime this year. As the conditions in the Colorado River worsen, these cuts could be announced any time in the near future. 74% of Arizona's water goes towards the agriculture industry, and many experts have predicted that landowners throughout the state will be forced to put land out of production, as a result of having less water to use to water crops. While Arizona's water supply system is playing a part in the Colorado River's declining water levels, there is another important cause of the river's rapid decline. 
Starting off at the Parker Dam in Arizona, the Colorado River Aqueduct stretches for nearly 250 miles down towards Los Angeles. At that point, it reaches Lake Matthews, which is a holding reservoir until the water is distributed throughout the state. In all, the Colorado River Aqueduct supplies water to more than 19 million California residents, proving that it is one of the most necessary water suppliers for the entire state. The entire aqueduct outputs more than 1.2 million acre-feet of water per year, which is roughly one-fourth of all the water California receives as part of the Colorado River Compact Agreement. As we can see, the Colorado River is providing water to more than just the regional states in the southwest. The two main aqueducts that the river supplies are one of the causes of its rapid decline. As of producing this video, the U.S. Borough of Reclamation announced that the Colorado River had fallen into a Tier 2 shortage, with even more water cuts expected by the end of this year. But all of this raises the question, can the decline of the Colorado River actually be reversed, and how will it impact the states in this region of America? With the goal of providing the Colorado River with an influx of water supplies, 500,000 acre-feet of water will be released from the Flaming Gorge Reservoir into Lake Powell. This is in addition to the 161,000 acre-feet of water that was released just last year. Additionally, a plan has been outlined for the basin states to cut an extreme amount of water by early next year. All seven states will be required to operate in a Tier 2 shortage condition, starting in January of 2023. This includes cutting between 2 and 4 million acre-feet of water usage by next year. This would then allow the Colorado River to stabilize itself without reaching dead pool status. All seven of the basin states have until the end of this month to determine how they will cut back on their water usage from the river. The Colorado River is facing many different problems, all stemming from just how many states are using the river's water. While the water cuts that were put in place may help the river replenish its water supplies, we have yet to see the full effect of this initiative, as most of the cuts go into effect early next year. As of right now, there has been disagreement between the basin states regarding how much water they will cut from their yearly usage. Therefore, only time will tell what the future of the Colorado River really turns out to be. While the Colorado River is one of the most important water suppliers in the southwest, Lake Mead's water supply is reaching record low water levels, threatening the water supply at the Hoover Dam. To learn more about this ongoing crisis, be sure to click the video here. Thank you for watching, and please consider subscribing if you enjoyed the video.